So from 0 to 1 of 4dx minus, tell me something else I could do on the second part of it. After I write this way, I'll write every step for you. Yeah, absolutely. I can pull that constant 2 out in front of my integral. Okay with that so far? Now at this point, well, we've got some things we've talked about already today. Tell me, can you find that? Yeah, that's pretty easy actually. That's going to be, and I'll draw it in a second, that's just going to be a horizontal line at 4 from 0 to 1. We'll find that area. This one, what is that? That's a half circle, and I'm going from 0 to 1. That's a, we've done that problem already today. So what this says is, Four, zero to one. What this one says is a quarter of a circle. So basically, what our integral comes down to, our, our area is what's this whole area? Minus 2 times, don't forget the 2. This was pi over, what was it, pi over 4? Mm -hmm. We got this area minus 2 times this area. So 4 minus 2 times pi over 4. If we simplify just a little bit, area is 4 minus pi over 2. If you really want to find a common denominator and do that, I think you'd get uh, 8 minus pi over two if you really want. It doesn't do you any good to do that, but you could if you want to. Do you feel okay with breaking these things up and using some, some geometry? So in this section, that's what you're going to do. I haven't taught you how to directly attack a definite integral yet. I'm going to do that right now. This is kind of a, a roundabout approach. We would say, let's, let's think about the geometry. Let's, let's draw a picture of it. Let's use our geometrical approach to find an area, and that's what this represents. Would you like to see how to hammer out a definite integral? Just Right on? Yeah. 